Little bird told me you had a brush with the law. In great ex stepdaughter. Oh, you do your best for them, Doug. Well, I don't know where either of my offspring would be without me, to be brutally honest. I barely have time to squeeze in my own life at all. What a life. B&B owner, veg cart entrepreneur. Anything to benefit the local community, you know me. Do you wear one of them stripy booters? I think you'll find that's a fishmonger. Ah. Shame. Was she just chatting up Doug? I'm just such a flirt with anything with a pulse, so... <laughs> Shame me and her aren't still doing the honesty box. Could have put in a note in from her. Dear Doug, can't stop dreaming of your silky turnips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going mad for a carrot. <laughs> Need to munch on your broccoli now. <laughs> I've never seen a sweet potato that much. <laughs> Haven't you got any holiday homework to be doing, young lady? Uh, we're making a playlist for Aaron. I wasn't talking to you. As long as you're not seeing Jacob, Laurel told me about your announcement. Yeah, Laurel was OK about his stupid mum. If Bernice says you're banned from seeing him, then you abide by that. And don't go involving Laurel. She's got enough on her plate with your dad. Yeah, all right, you don't need to go on. No Jacob, I hope. I don't know, Mother. Why don't you check under the table? Now will you get off my case? I haven't finished my drink. That boy is making her more unpleasant than usual. Not him. I think Lib's the culprit. I mean, look where she's come from. Her mother, God knows where. A brother in prison. No wonder she's gone off the rails. Mm. Robert says he's trying his best. And look at the last child he had hand in rearing. Lachlan. Poor girl's got no chance. I mean, I'm not blaming her, but we've got to be careful about it rubbing off on Gabby. Sorry, I had to wait for my sad up for my mum to go. That's all right. Dog was worse. I shouldn't really tell you. No, go on. Look, he was saying really mean stuff about you and Jacob. Saying that he's only using you because you're easy. What? And Jacob's immature and stupid. His family's rubbish. His mum's not even here. And you're only going to end up humiliating yourself. What the hell does he know? He's got no right to diss me when he's such a big-headed know-all. <laughs> One rule for the old, isn't it? He can do what he likes, but as soon as you try and live your life. This is so not fair. How come someone like Aaron goes to prison when my stir of a granddad deserves it more than him? Do something about it. Forget your lame little notes in the honesty box. You need to make sure he really takes notice. Right. Are you up for it? I'll teach you to keep his fat nose out. <laughs> yeah, bring it on. <laughs> Soup's on the table. Leek and potato. Tin tomato, sorry. You might have an overflowing allotment, but that's not going to turn me into Sophie Grigson. Now? Yep. Aaron doesn't even use these at the scrapyard anymore, so... It's not like he's going to be missing him anytime soon. Ready? Go on. Bye bye, stinky oh. sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> monkey spuds. Monkey parsnips. Wait, pomegranate? No way did he go there. Oh, he's such a faker. Yeah, how could they were closing him down then, eh? <laughs> 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 